Hey guys, it's Wade here. Um, just going for a walk with my DJ Osmo Mobile. Um, doing a bit of recording today down by the wetlands behind my house. Um, using sort of the selfie mode at the moment. And um, yeah, hopefully it's not too windy. Um, I didn't bring an external mic or anything like that with me. Um, I did bring the stand so I can do some um, a bit of like selfie stick action when I'm down a bit further. So, uh, hope you like the video. I'm going to walk through the wetlands in my house. So I'm just walking down the path now, and I have the stabilisation on, obviously. I'm not doing any ninja walk or anything like that. So I'll be interested to see how the footage turns out, if it's bumpy or anything like that. Hopefully it's not too windy. So these are some of the wetlands. We're really lucky here to be um, all fully surrounded by great marked bike paths, etc. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to show you some more of that when we get over to the big ponds. But essentially, it's just um, runoff control and things like that to stop uh, erosion and water damage through the middle of the suburb. So one thing I did discover was that I can't switch around and do the selfie style shot while filming. I have to stop filming or stop recording and switch back. So that's a bit annoying. So yeah, but anyway, I'm going to find a bit of a seat because I want to have a bit of a chat. What an absolutely beautiful day. Light planes flying over. Ooh, ready for a big reveal. Yeah, so this is one of the big ponds that catches all the stormwater runoff. It's filled with turtles and swans and ducks and water hens and other such bizzo. A couple of water hens over there. Wind's not as bad on this as on this side as I thought it would be. So yeah, I'm still shooting on the Osmo. Hopefully it's not too bouncy. I'm trying to sort of manually pan for you. Concrete sleepers over the water. And then you come up and you're right in the middle of the wetlands. That's a new baby water hen that must have just hatched recently because in Australia we've just, uh, we're still in spring I think at the moment as we head off to autumn. Sorry, head off to summer. Fuck. So I found a bit of a shady spot to sit down and um, set up the selfie pole and tripod that sort of comes with. Um, so I'm using the active tracking now, as you can see. Uh, still like playing with that. Um, yeah, so I've taken the Osmo Mobile out for a bit of a walk today. Um, one thing I have noticed though, it does tend to sort of wander off um, left and right, depending what you're doing. Um, so you've got to keep an eye on where you're pointed, etc. Even sometimes when I have the trigger, pulled um, but uh, the other thing for me is I have to actually set an offset um, my phone never sits quite level I don't know why it's the 7 plus it's a pretty standard phone um, so and I don't mean in circumstances like right now we're on uneven ground so I, um, I, I tilted up the camera so it sits up a bit level and hopefully the horizons kind of level now but um, hopefully it'll sort itself out yeah so that's pretty cool um, it's definitely light and easy in the hand, like you don't get a sore hand from walking with it or anything like that. And um, 
I'm really liking the way that it does really take out that that bounce when you walk. It'll be interesting when I put it up on the big screen to do some editing if it actually does take it out as much as it did look on the phone. The phone looked almost uh, buttery smooth. Um, and as I showed you around the wetlands, this is sort of where I come and fly my DJI Phantom 3 standard. And uh, a bit of a secret I'll tell you now, but don't tell Frankie. I actually just bought a DJI Mavic Pro um, online, but the company that I bought it from are now telling me there's a remote issue and it won't be here as soon as I thought it would be. I actually think they're telling me BS and uh, I've asked them what well, are the chances of a full refund so I can order it uh, somewhere else. But yeah, the delay is definitely annoying when you hand over in Australian dollars nearly $1,600. Um, yeah, so that's not awesome. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile in the underslung mode. So, you get some good, clean, low flyover, sort of almost drone like closenesses. I'm rocking the portrait mode now with the DJI Osmo Mobile. Give that one a bit of cool, a bit of an interesting look. So that's locked on me now as I hold it off to the side. Let's see if I can pan a bit so you can see a bit of the bit of the wetlands are walking in here. So that's locked. Oh, didn't want to show the rest of my fat guts. So yeah, there's the. Selfie pole, not even pulled all the way out, tilted the head over, and a tripod. Um, have to say though, in Australia, they're nearly 90 bucks each. <sighs> yeah, one of the benefits of living down under is we always get caned when the US dollar shoots up. So, uh, yeah. One of the other cool things about living here in Canberra is we get all the super high jets fly over. So their planes heading from Sydney to Melbourne. And on a super clear day like today, you can actually see them in the sky. Oh, you probably can't see that one, but over above that tree, there's another one. Probably a Sydney to Melbourne flyer. Which I think is actually the third busiest flight route in the world. A bit of a look back over one third of the wetland that I took you around today. Pretty awesome. So that's me walking with the gimbal not locked, just pointed, and it's just in its normal free flow mode. And I'll lock it now. Does that take the steps out? Oh, they're still there. You tell me. Cool. I'll put this all together a bit of a compilation and um, put it up on YouTube shortly uh, to show you uh, having a play with my DJI as my mobile. Thank you. I really wanted to thank my Patreon supporters because without people like them, videos like this wouldn't be able to be made. So you'll see the link to Patreon, which is Wade About, and uh, I really wanted to say thank you again.